Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Stellaris. In today's video, what do you want? It we are talking about the Skynet Eliminators here. We have to use our uh, Colossus. Now the Colossus has um, the Bane ability and accelerates plume of neutron radiation points, paints the planet surface, severely degrading most materials and directly destroying all biological tissue. I think that made most sense. I would have loved to be able to just like terraform a, a planet into a machine world, but I think I basically need more perks and, uh, and I'm not sure if I should take him considering the threat that is looming up here Ship but it completed. is time for a war i think these guys has federation association status i'm not sure if we'll go to war with those guys and i'm not seeing any defensive pact or anything like that so i'd say we'll uh, we, we get started here we declare war we want to completely cleanse them Diplomatic alert. There we go. War protocols initiated. War Ship protocols have been completed. initiated. And I'm, my biggest fleet is going to um, keep an eye on the Colossus. And I will send the Colossus over here. And then we have a second fleet as well with actual troops that uh, do things the old fashioned way. And anyone else that looks red? So I think that's from them. But other than that. I'm not seeing anyone else that, uh, well, are those guys like always at war? That is possible, of course. Hmm. They do always look red. And look at that. Oof, that's a lot of, holy crap, that's a lot of big navies. All right, we'll see if we can, uh, if we can get this to work or not. But now I am a little bit curious as to how the Colossus is going to fare when it needs to attack Ship a planet. Completed. So, for the regular stuff, Hostile first we take out a 4.1k defensive station. That's pretty cool looking. That is pretty nice. It's down to 3.9k. In come the missiles. There we go. We are taking that over and then we're going to bomb and that is something that I do now. We use the Armageddon Orbital Bombardment just to make sure that we create some room for a machine um, to come aboard early on because uh, it's, it's still something to keep in mind. So that's also my Titan that's uh, here and then we are going to bait the mooring. We're gonna give that a go. Let's see how that works. Could be cool. I wonder if you take uh, the planet or if you... Let's see what kind of a fleet they have. 10,000. I'm not too worried about that. But I'm going to keep these guys here just in case uh, we end up in trouble. So that's looking quite good. And here comes the Colossus. Oh, he's above the planet. He's changing... Ah, that is cool that is very cool and then he should i'm not sure exactly how that uh if we get out oh, there we go charging weapon 10 percent okay in the meantime here we are bombing the hell out of this planet look at that that looks pretty cool so we are destroying buildings, we are killing off armies, which is actually pretty important. But I do also want to kill at least one pop so that I can, um, so I don't need to recolonize the planet. But I wonder how this is going to work here. That's a 20% now. Let's hope that I can get back there on time. And in the meantime, we've got a couple more habitats and uh, something else that we are doing here. I wanted to do a Dyson Sphere, but apparently when you have stations here, they don't like it so much. So I'm actually working on uh, a ring world. Could be cool. Complete. A machine ring world full of little Skynet bots producing energy, producing minerals. And there comes the enemy fleet. Will they have the balls to attack this fleet here? Well, if they if they want to keep me from <laughs> completely eradicating this planet, that's what they'll have to do. But it's 34k with a Titan in there. So that's going to be pretty difficult for them. 
Just, uh, yeah, these guys. Construction complete. Whoa, that's uh, a lot. We could take a quick look at it. So, oh man. Yeah, what used to be infighting is now a pretty massive military buildup right there. Let's hope that maybe that fallen empire can do something about them. So what's happening next here? Well, I think we want to take our time, to be honest. Um, and, and keep the other fleets in reserve so that we could respond if needed. Weapon is charged at 50%. Do you actually like see a lot about that? And, well, here you can see that the weapon is charging. And then here, that's a nice core. Look at that. No naked singularity like the triglavian ships but it's still pretty cool and are they uh they want to go to the right so do i chase after them that's a little bit the question we could try it but i am hesitant to leave my um my big ship alone so maybe he is trying to organize like a counterattack. yeah looks like that might be what he's doing so we're actually going to stay right on this guy. The great gun of the... Uh, oh, he's dead. Intercept communication said that the great gun was violently assassinated by a special forces team in the employ of an as of yet unidentified galactic power. That's not me. No government has been willing to claim responsibility for this operation. What will the reaction be? I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look at this planet. There we go. A couple of... Uh, couple of tiles taken out that's good it's time for a ground offensive let's do that and uh yeah who knows maybe these port, archivists spaceport engaged and then a spaceport engaged where who what where that's gonna be here planetary pacification gotcha protocols. so Initiate. that's a fleet that we will chase after with you. this fleet um What the hell? Didn't I select you guys? Yeah, I did. Should be able to do that. Well, oh, they, he wants to reconnect with these systems and then probably take these as well. So we are going to start to move this way as well. And this is what we want to see, of course. 83%. Go, go, go. 84%. While his military fleet is actually moving back away from us a little bit okay so we are gonna bring that fleet in as well just to stop uh, them from wreaking too much havoc on this side i think that'll be successful and then we'll just move from planet to planet i think uh, leave them one planet grab everything else and that'll be good so i think that if they just have marga merga left here that'll be okay now 97% all right let's see what happens state of their pops full planet full of biological scum there we go oh that is cool that is cool um the global pacifier i don't think that we want that maybe we'll uh, take one of these lances and then is it like another cooldown yeah firing weapon 20% Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. What's happening here, I wonder? Armies still fighting. Still fighting. Bravely trying to stave off the inevitable. But Skynet is just unbeatable. Objective. You are down. Moving up. We still have... Yeah, that's looking okay. Oh, then we will have to uh, expand a sector after this as well. Uh, but we want to watch the fireworks here, I think. Damn, it does take a decent amount of time. I'm not even sure if that's going to be the best way to go. Surface, build. Um, build an administrative center. You can build that as well. We can start clearing that out. And then plus 12 energy from each one of those guys. Uh, while we recycle them for the Skynet Collective. That's nice. 86%. Okay, let's see what happens next. All these people must be quite fearful. But there we go. The ISIS Annihilator. 
was purged of all higher forms of life. <laughs> By the sweep, all of them are gone. Glorious. We could call it efficient. Ah, uh, that is nice. Very, very nice. And we take the system uh, this way. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna move on to... Uh, actually, to this system here next, I think. Um, we'll bomb the hell out of their main planet. And then this fleet is coming over here. Very cool. Uh, it does become a colonizable planet afterwards. So that's something to keep in mind, of course. Is that that neutron sweep will mean another colony ship will need to be added. Okay, I think this is my third sector. Or... Yeah, that, that's going to be the closest, uh, especially for towards Fontral. And it is my focus. So one of my sectors, there we go, um, is focused on energy credits. Because sometimes that was starting to feel like a bottleneck. So we're going to start to move that one up here. Against all odds, I have managed to weather the turmoil that followed the wake of the... Ooh, the immediate threat of splintering into different successor states has been largely eliminated with the coronation of a new Khan. For now, this reborn seems more concerned with the consolidation of it already controls than making new Khan. We shall see how long they survive. Okay, so that's not like an inevitable demise. Uh, let's do that. And let's actually give them settings allow them to colonize that way i don't have to worry about that anymore you, you guys can just keep colonizing this then we'll take all of that as well cool uh up here is that a fight yes it is fire everything guys it's only 1.4k but 3.6k here as well my battleship they are forced into a retreat. We take this out. And I guess... You can also just bomb uh, them uh, into submission as well. Well, basically eradicate them as well through a, a very long bombing campaign. That works too. So we're gonna get started on that here. That's an enemy fleet defeated. And here we've got another fleet. I wonder what my Titan does. Whoa! <laughs> That's the Titan. <laughs> That's a ship down. <laughs> That's cool. That is very cool. And... Well, after this engagement, they, they want to take out the Colossus. But that's not going to work. Another beam. Very cool. And then they'll rejoin... The Colossus for the conquest of that next planet. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. Uh, you could go straight into, I think, the Machine World stuff. But if I'm not mistaken, then you'll need, uh, like, a, the perk uh, for that. Which would be... Machine Worlds. And I think that then you'll have an option to discover technology. So that your Colossus creates Machine Worlds, basically. Uh, which would be quite cool. Uh, we have a colony ship here for some reason. Oh, there's... I built it for this one. Gotcha. So we'll uh, put you down here. That's a, a planet that I, that I basically bombed until everything died. And up here we've got another colony ship. Because we are, of course, expanding our... Uh, our habitats, which uh, for me at the moment, let's upgrade that, uh, are places for lots of energy. Just so that I can uh, add defenses everywhere. And so this is now what the new... Uh, Alright. They do have, well, massive armies, but they are half what they were in the offensive phase. That's interesting. I, I feel like I could probably handle them. At this point. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what's happening here? We've got... We took that out. 22k. We are sometimes losing 
some individual uh, small ships, but we also have room to rebuild them. And Planetary there's another button procedure that we initiated. might... Let's take a look at that. But yeah, fully uh, populated. Uh, it's like reinforced, which costs 15,000. I think I can try that. Let's do this. And that basically... Um, means that the nearest shipyard is going to build reinforcements for that fleet very handy i think if you want to top them off we'll see what the impact will be on my naval capacity but i think that will uh, will be okay on that end and in the meantime here is my main fleet with a titan that's healing itself up following the colossus that'll be ready to fire on the next planet this is cool this is cool. It does give you different options. That's just a small transport fleet. I'm not too worried about that. We can keep going. Um, unlocks control. This building will produce energy and unity. Resource. Oh, that's pretty cool. While in a defensive war, we won't be in many defensive wars. So I think we'll go for that. Um, and how is the bombing campaign going here? Yeah, first tile taken out, so that's pretty good. Then here, are we bombing as well? Yeah, first tile taken out, then we can land our troops. You can just keep going uh, if you really want to. Oh, fall back. He's taking some uh, damage. Protocols initiated. That's not so good. All right, so you actually want him to follow that fleet rather than the other way around, I think. All right, we'll learn, we'll learn. Construction complete. So that's taken out. Next step, Drifting Isle. Let's bait that band. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. <laughs> that is going to be a good one. And they are back on that command as well. All right. Uh, enemy fleets, yep, there's a small fleet here, not too worried about that. First, got my troops. Just one more enemy army, then we'll take that out. Ground and invasion we'll... units have there we go, objective. awesome. Let's make sure that they have the follow command. So some of the mistakes that you obviously don't want to make... Um, and I will start bombing their their main uh, their main uh, system. I think uh, some of the mistakes that you really don't want to make, uh, and that I have made and had to learn the hard way, is for instance, don't send your transport ships all of a sudden to another fleet, because even um, something like this is going to start to cut into them, and and you then have to like retreat them or you'll take losses. And I think it's going to be the same thing pretty much with your colossus. You don't want the Colossus uh, to be on his own ever. You always want an escorting fleet there. And so this weapon is charging. I guess we'll end the video when, uh, when we're firing the weapon for the second time. But for now, this war is going decently well. Although still not perfectly. Should I use... Maybe I should use this fleet. Planetary uh, procedure I'm hoping... Initiated. That we can attract all of this small stuff. Or should I hunt after these guys? Maybe I should hunt after these guys. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll look to reconquer these systems. Take out that, that little roaming fleet that he's got there. That he keeps reinforcing. He's got a colony ship here as well. Okay, fleet hurricane. And up here, this is basically... Slowly getting bombed to hell. Uh, in control as well. Maybe I can actually leave these uh, and get a move. Yeah, this way. So we'll go here and then we'll, we'll move that fleet up there. Uh, so one thing to note as well is that there is this FTL inhibitor. But if you keep bombing a planet, eventually you will be able to go through that. So that's another way uh, that you can make progress. And... Uh, better thrusters for more speed. That is pretty important. Uh, I'd say we'll take that. Just so that my fleets have more speed. And there's some reinforcements coming. Cool. Okay. And we are up to five 
63. Oh, we also have uh, too many planets. Um, how are we gonna fix that? I think we can very easily fix it this way. Manage plus plus plus. There we go. Back at 15 out of 15. Not sure which one it was, but okay. Construction complete. Colossus charging 65%. Yeah, armor. Look at that. Took quite a bit of armor damage. So you want the other way around. You want the Colossus to follow your... Um, you want your Colossus to follow your fleet. Rather than your fleet following your Colossus. Important lesson. Um, this fleet... Hostile fleet assets engage. Can, uh, since a lot of them seem to have retreated up here, we are going to move up there as well. And then here we're cutting them off too. So that should be all right. Hostile fleet assets engaged. What and where? Any other enemies? Not seeing it. And up here... Let's take a quick look at that. So this is another one. Uh, we definitely want an ion cannon there as well. And then some defense platforms. This is just like a first wall against these um, these new Natvan can and the canate. We don't want them to get out of hand. And now here we're starting to counter. Looking good. That fleet. Well, are those battleships? I'm not sure if they're actually battleships, but they are 878. That's not bad. And so that's the reinforcement that you can see here. Um, they are going to fill that fleet up. And we're going to hit their main system with it. We are almost ready to fire. At 8%. That, that is pretty damn cool. That is pretty damn cool. 3,400, I'm not too worried. You, you can you can try <laughs> with the fleet that's there. Reinforcements coming from everywhere as we enter their main system. We take out their defenses and then we will start our bombing of Yal. The enemy's home world that is bound to be full of life. Well, it's not too big, it does have many armies. So we'll do a little bit of bombing here. But uh, yeah, going really nicely. As you can see here, this is how Skynet wages war now. Ready? Ooh, we are making history indeed. That one, 58%. I think we can quickly switch up here. And then ring world sites. Yeah, 20k. We've got that easy. Get started on the ring world for the Skynet eliminators. We are going big, guys. As I said in the previous video, go big or go home. Well, the Skynet Eliminators are going big. Who the hell is going to um, dare go up against us? Well, all of them will be crushed in time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As we are ready to fire, I'll see you all next time.